dear friends, faithful believers, and cherished members of our community. It is with hearts brimming with hope, gratitude, and deep reverence that we extend a heartfelt welcome to each and every one of you gathered here today on our channel. Whether you are here for the first time or have been with us on this journey for years, may the peace and abundant grace of our Lord Jesus Christ fill your hearts and guide you in all that you do. As we come together in faith, let us hold fast to the blessings that unite us and let his love shine upon us in every moment, especially in times of challenge and uncertainty. Today, we turn our attention to the situation unfolding in France, where six departments have been placed on red alert due to severe flooding. This follows a period of unprecedented rainfall that has devastated the region, with one area recording an astonishing 630 mm of rain in just 48 hours, a figure that exceeds what is typically seen in an entire season. The French weather agency Meteo France has described the rainfall as a historic event, one that has led to rivers bursting their banks and flooding vast areas. Departments in France function much like counties in the UK or states in the US, and these six affected regions have faced widespread damage, forcing thousands to flee their homes in search of safety. Among the hardest hit areas is Lyon, France's third largest city, where cars have been submerged under rising floodwaters, particularly in commercial districts. The towns of Onorna and Le Butte, located in the Ardèche department, have also been severely impacted. Floodwaters have swept away vehicles, destroyed infrastructure, and left many residents stranded, as emergency responders work tirelessly to contain the situation and rescue those in immediate danger. The French government has issued a red alert, the highest level of weather warning affecting the southern and southeastern regions, including the iconic city of Cannes, renowned for its prestigious annual film festival. In response, local authorities have swiftly moved to close roads, evacuate neighborhoods at risk, and issue stern warnings to residents to avoid taking unnecessary risks by filming or photographing the disaster as this could endanger their lives. The vigilance of the authorities and the swift response of emergency services have so far prevented casualties, though the true extent of the damage remains unknown as assessments continue. The situation in France is not an isolated one. Just a week ago, the remnants of Tropical Storm Kirk ravaged parts of Western Europe bringing turbulent weather and compounding the challenges already faced by countries across the continent. Nearly a month ago, Cannes itself was hit by flash floods, signaling a disturbing pattern of increasingly frequent and severe weather events that have affected not only France, but all of Europe. Central Europe recently endured its worst floods into decades, highlighting the escalating impact of climate change and the growing vulnerability of the region to extreme weather. In response to this latest crisis, the French government has mobilized more than 1,000 firefighters and rescue workers, deploying helicopters to reach areas that have become inaccessible by road and to assist in rescue operations. Schools, public institutions, and even entire communities have been evacuated with residents urged to remain vigilant as the weather forecast indicates the potential for further storms. Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne has visited several of the most affected regions, offering assurances of government support and promising aid to assist in recovery efforts once the waters recede. The flooding has not only taken a toll on communities and infrastructure, but has also devastated France's agricultural sector. Vineyards and farmlands in renowned regions, such as Provence and the Rhine Valley have been submerged, raising concerns about the upcoming harvest and the economic losses that will surely follow. Experts are already warning that the consequences of these floods will be felt for months, if not years, to come. Scientists and meteorologists are linking this extreme weather to climate change, cautioning that such events are becoming more frequent particularly in the Mediterranean region. This unpredictability poses significant challenges for local governments, 
who are working hard to strengthen flood prevention and early warning systems in order to mitigate the risks posed by future storms. As the flood risks remain high in several regions, French citizens are being urged to stay alert and follow the guidance of local authorities. This unpredictability poses significant challenges for local governments, who are working hard to strengthen flood prevention and early warning systems in order to mitigate the risks posed by future storms. As the flood risks remain high in several regions, French citizens are being urged to stay alert and follow the guidance of local authorities. There have been no reports of casualties so far, although the full extent of property damage remains unclear. This devastating flooding comes just a week after the remnants of Storm Kirk swept across Western Europe, leaving destruction in its wake. And nearly a month after, Cum was hit by severe flash floods. The frequency of these natural disasters has shaken communities across Europe, leaving many to wonder when this turbulent weather will subside. Local authorities in France acted swiftly, closing roads, evacuating entire neighborhoods, and urging residents to steer clear of dangerous areas, emphasizing the importance of not risking their lives by taking photos or videos. So far, by the grace of God, there have been no fatalities or injuries reported, but the magnitude of the damage remains uncertain as officials continue to assess the aftermath of this catastrophe. This flooding in southern France is part of a broader pattern of extreme weather events that have been plaguing Europe in recent months. The remnants of Hurricane Kirk battered Western Europe just a week ago, and nearly a month before, can face its own devastating flash floods. Central Europe has also been enduring its worst floods into decades, a stark reminder of the increasingly severe weather patterns sweeping across the continent. These events are not just natural occurrences. They are signs that we must reflect on the fragility of our world and turn our hearts toward the Lord, seeking His guidance and protection in these troubled times. As it says in Scripture, the Lord is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble, Psalm 46 to 1. We must place our trust in Jesus Christ, for even amid such trials, He offers us His unfailing love and grace. In response to this ongoing crisis, the French government has mobilized over 1,000 firefighters and rescue workers, deploying helicopters to assist in rescue operations and monitor flood zones from the air. Some regions have become entirely inaccessible by road, prompting further emergency measures. Schools and public institutions in the most severely affected areas have been closed as a precaution, with local authorities working tirelessly to ensure the safety of residents. Prime Minister Elizabeth Bourne has visited several of the hardest hit areas, promising government aid to support the recovery efforts and to help rebuild what has been lost. The agricultural sector has also suffered gravely, with vineyards and farmland in regions like Provence and the Rhine Valley submerged beneath floodwaters. This has raised concerns about the upcoming harvest and the potential for economic losses, particularly for local farmers whose livelihoods depend on the land. As these floods remind us of the power and unpredictability of nature, it is crucial that we turn to Christ, who calms the storm and walks on water, reminding us that his power is greater than any force on earth. In Mark 4, 39, Jesus rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still, and the wind died down, and it was completely calm. Even in the midst of this chaos, we must remember that our Lord has dominion over all creation, and he is with us, guiding us through the storm... Experts are linking these extreme weather events to changing climate patterns, with scientists warning that such severe rainfall will become more frequent in the Mediterranean region as global temperatures continue to rise. This unpredictability poses growing challenges for local authorities, who are working to strengthen flood prevention measures and enhance early warning systems to safeguard lives and property in the future. As flood risks remain high in many regions, 
the French public has been urged to remain vigilant and to heed the advice of local officials to ensure their safety. As we continue to evaluate the full scale of the damage, our focus remains on protecting the well-being of residents and minimizing further destruction in the days ahead. Let us also remember to pray for those affected by this disaster, that they may find comfort and strength in the Lord. As we are reminded in Philippians 4 to 6 to 7, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. May we hold fast to this promise, trusting in Jesus to see us through every storm, both literal and metaphorical.